Dennis Worth of the Comedy Kitchen, and you've just entered the oven. Welcome to episode 31 of the Comedy Kitchen. Today I have a special guest, the guy we all grew up watching from Good Times, Mr. Jimmy Walker. Jimmy, thank you hey, for being on nice today. Nice to be around. Nice to be around. I'm happy to have you. Excited to cook up some curry oh, chicken today? Boy, oh boy, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Too much fun here in New England. Because you're on the road a lot, so you don't get a whole lot of home cooking. Today. No, no, no home cooking at all. We're usually on the road. we got to find the best uh, uh, restaurants that are that are franchise kind of things, so we get eat at all those joints. All right, so uh, so before we get started, Tal, I know I watched you growing up. I'm a big fan of yours on Good Times. <laughs> what uh, what's one of your favorite memories of the show? Uh, you know, I think just the process of getting on the show was interesting, and uh, the thing that it, the thing that is that people like the show. That's the key. And I was just watching a thing yesterday about us. And they were talking about the Cosby thing in terms of his show and that we still have a nice clean image, even though we took a hit for what we did. But I like the fact that, that we're still out there, which is amazing. I think we talked about it yesterday. 40 years, I, did, I didn't think anybody would remember us at all. Still on television. Still on yeah. TV, more than we've ever been. We've been on uh, uh, TV Land, Bounce, uh, BET. Uh, TV One, oh heck darn it, we're a lot of places. I'm still watching on TV Land myself. All right. All right, let's get going on the curry chicken. First thing we need is a green pepper. We're Ooh, yikes, look out. It up a little bit a here. that can cook anything but tuna is amazing. See, that's why it is the comedy <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> tuna and, uh, and, and, and popcorn, that's the main thing comics have. That's what they eat. That's what you eat on the road? That's what comics eat. That's not me. I don't know. I, I used to have tuna, but not anymore. I, I don't know why, but I just haven't had it in a long time. So I know being on the road, you probably don't cook a lot, but what, what are some of your, I know you wanted some Chinese food from New England. Yes, what are, I always, what are, yeah. I, well, Chinese food is always good. Uh, heck darn it, pizza is a staple of comics. Okay. Oh darn heck, do we love pizza, it's whatever. In New England, in New York, the best places for pizza. You don't want to go to the West Coast where they have the California kitchen. Because it's different out there, right? No, no, they have some Hawaiian type stuff. This we have the hard course. So look at that. The, we even got an oven. Because I haven't a done a cooking show. Green peppers. We got some water boiling here. We're gonna steam them up a little bit Hello, to soften look them. Look out! Here we come. We're rolling. Okay. Next thing we got is we got our onion here. We're gonna cut See, that I'm up a little crying. bit. I'm already crying. That's it. I'm already crying. This is this is the thing. Last cooking show I was on was uh, the John Candy show in Canada. How really? about that? Many hundreds of years ago. Way back when. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's hope a Comedy Kitchen can compete with that. Uh, well, John Candy, unfortunately, has left us. He's in the upstairs kitchen now. But he left some memories, didn't yes, he? Yes, he did. He was, oh. He's the greatest. Great guy. So now we got out on a show tonight over the Westminster Country Club for Joke in the Box Comedy Clubs. And uh, it's a trip to Boston. I know. What are some of your favorite memories of the Boston area in the Boston comedy scene? Well, I started here, we had the combat zone a thousand years ago. Way back when. Way back, and uh, we used to stay at the Leno Arms in the city, because Leno lived here, and his mother would come by and clean the house with like two or four gallons of ammonia and bleach, because it was a comedy crash pad. Uh, Freddie Prinz used to come in, actually he got so drunk and staggering one night, he actually shot the house up. Really? Yeah, because we never had a lock on the door or anything, so comics just came and crashed. And Leno used to just have mats. Now Leno's got big, gigantic beds and 7,000 cars and, and laughing his cartoonies off. But we used to go work the Playboy clubs and do six shows a night downtown. We did down there. And then we used to go to, I used to work at the Combat Zone Sugar Shack. Sugar Shack, way Sugar, back when. Sure. Way back. And, 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 and I used to do shows, not shows, but I, I worked with this guy, Wild Man Steve, who worked on W-I-L-D. So that was the wild man. He was calling himself the Wa-Ha-Ha -ha Man. And, we, and I did shows with him. And then Leno's parents would take us over to Andover and we'd go to the Hilltopper, uh, a restaurant over there. And Leno loved the steaks and stuff like that. We had a ton of steaks. And his mom loved it over there. But Leno loved it more. I heard the cow is gone now. So no more I, cows? Leno the took cow, them all? The, no, the big cow they used to have in the Hilltop a restaurant. Oh, there. okay, the logo, yeah. Yeah, the logo was a big a big cow they had up there. And somebody bought it. It wasn't Leno, but somebody else somebody bought, bought it. Somebody bought the cow. Yeah, somebody bought the cow. So we, we worked here a lot. Then uh, Bob Shaw, I don't know if you remember Bob Shaw. Comic used to work in town. Me, Bob Shaw, and Jay Leno would go down to Harvard, and we would go down and work the Rat Skeller. 
which is a coffee house. We worked down there, but this is like a thousand years ago. And then Freddie and David Brenner would come in, and he'd work the uh, up in, 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 what is it, Nyack, not Nyack, but uh, starts from the end, whatever that is. He worked a big outdoor theater and let us know that he was bigger than all. He was in charge, right? He yes, was the guy. large in charge. Large maybe. and in charge. So what can they expect tonight at Joke in the Box Comedy Hopefully Club? Hopefully something funny. That's my thing. I always say that. Something funny, something wonderful. Uh, uh, we, we, we hope that people come out to the big she and see what's happening at the Westminster Comedy, Westminster uh, uh, Country Club. That's big buzz name. going on. That's oh, right. yeah, I'm sure there's a buzz. Everybody's Absolutely. choked up about it. <laughs> All right, you can't have curry chicken without without chicken. You chicken, have chicken. That's right. Look at this. So we got some vegetable oil steaming up in here. So hello, we're here we go. Get ready. It's going to chicken fry up. chunks, and we're going to fry oh, these up a little bit. Oh, it's going to fry up. Ooh, look two. out! Ooh. See, you never see the process. Usually, I just have the bag for taking it out. So other than uh, whoa, I'm splashing one. Got to be careful. I'm watching. Other than uh, Chinese food, what do you say? What are some of your favorite dishes besides? Because well, I know Italian, different parts of the country. Italian, you get different Italian food. is always good. We have that. You know, and, and, and good meatballs and spaghetti and veal, those my deal, but everybody has their own thing. So pasta, pizza, uh, of course, barbecue ribs. I don't want to get too ethnic, of course. Of course. But uh, yeah, ribs are always my thing. So a lot of that. So that's my thing. All that's right. Jimmy, we got a portion of the show that is called Funny Food Questions. You ready for a funny food question? No, but I'm going to have to do it anyway since it's in. All right, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, if you went grocery shopping and you came home with a barfy, what do you think you'd be coming home with? A barfy. I can only think because I fly so much, a barf bag. That's the only thing oh. A barf bag. But you're at a grocery store, keep in mind. They, could, they, well, still, sell them. they, they okay. still sell them. They still sell them. We got Walmart in those places. They got barf bags. All right, well, let's take a look. What are we coming home with? It's actually a hamburger, a barf Ham hamburger. I see, I never eat, I never eat burgers. So I mean, all comics eat burgers. I don't. You don't eat burgers, no, really? So you no. wouldn't eat a barfy burger? Huh? No, I, I don't never. really have. I don't really have. I don't eat steak and stuff like that. I did when I was with Leno, but I haven't had steak in a long time. I don't even, I've never seen one when I've gone grocery shopping, but apparently it's out there. A barfy, who a knows? A barfy, I'll, I'll use that in, in a bar bet. Maybe tonight when we're at the country club, I can, I can get a win a, a Coca-Cola, a sarsaparilla. Sure, so a well, sarsaparilla. You, you're still doing comedy on the scene, obviously, after good times get over. What, well, uh, when I, you were young, who were some of the comics that inspired you to want to try it? My comics were guys that, uh, that a lot of people don't remember, except for Cosby. I was a huge coffee fan. Still I am, despite all the, the, the situations Sensitive going on. Sensitive subjects, yeah. Yes. And then Dick Gregory, who's up here in Massachusetts somewhere. Okay. Uh, Dick Gregory. These are all people that the young people don't know who they are. Godfrey Cambridge was one of my guys. So those are my three guys that really I was, uh, I spent a lot of time watching and looking at and doing that whole deal like that. That inspired you? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you still stay in touch with any of the cast of Good Times, or? Uh, very rarely. A little bit here and there. You know, Bernadette, who played Thelma, of yeah. course. Uh, Bernadette's kind of the person who tries to put us together and say, oh, God, let's forget about all that. We're all friends and family and the whole deal like that. So, Bernadette, I would say, is if there's a glue to our, our cast, she would be the glue to the whole she's deal. She's the one who tries to get you guys together. Yeah, she's, she's the one who does the whole deal. But we weren't that, you know, close, tight-knit cast. Like the Jeffersons, they were like Very bugs. close, yeah, right. They, were, they, they, they hung out, they whatever, and they had picnics and volleyball games and the whole deal like Buds that. Buds or not, you guys hit some magic on screen, that's for sure, yeah. Yeah, we, we uh, you know, I think we were part of the Norman Lear thing, and that was, you know, working with Norman. Norman's up here, too. He's in uh, Vermont, I think. Bro, look at the show together right here. Everybody's yeah, up oh, here. I'm sure Norman would be very happy <laughs> to see me again. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right, we're going to drain our chicken off here drain, to the side. Drain the chicken there. Get the chicken we drained. we got our little strainer here. We're going to catch our chicken Yes, in. get that in there, please. Sure. We're getting there now. All right, you ready to get involved? I'm involved. All right, we got some minced garlic right there, a little There's jar. There's a minced garlic. You want to open that up? Clean that up. Watch out. So you got to get the top of the thing there. And then you turn the thing, and then you got All it. All right. 
Small oh, spoon. I'm dead now. Thanks, I'm leaving. The Thank you. The vampires are go. We oh. got your little teaspoon there, the small spoon. Can you hit two there, teaspoons two right teaspoons in here? Two teaspoons of this in here. See? You never have like a thing. You always learn I, with girls that I'm lucky enough that to give me a chance to take them out. They say, That's uh, mix it in there. See? So they, 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 you just put that in there and do the garlic fry thing. Fry up our garlic a little bit. Yeah. Put that. Make sure you always rewind and, and tighten it up because you pick it up again and it falls out all over the place. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our go. chicken right in with the it. Chicken right in there. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to drain our vegetables. Drain the veggies. We're we getting there now. Add our veggies right on in there with oh, that. Oh, hello. All right, you got your little water bottle there. You want A little water bottle I could use to hit <laughs> myself. Grab your cup there, the white one. Yes. Maybe throw a cup of water right on in there. I don't want too much water. Look at that. I spilled it all over. That Splashes over. are good. Make a mess. On My goodness. Kitchen. I need some water, actually. I need some water. There you go. We'll make it all taste very good. Ah! Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> all right. So, uh... Yabba dabba. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> if, uh, if there was one thing, you know, you've had a story career. You've did pretty much everything. If there was one mm. thing left you'd want to do, what, what would you want to do again before? Oh, heck darn it. This, I would want to do anything that I, I felt I didn't do. I, I like to be on the TV show. I like to, uh, I like to be able to have my own following, like George Carlin had. He had his own people that would go around. He could do 1,500 seats. That's the key deal, you know, to be able to put tushies in the seats when you work. I would love that. That would be great. Sure. If they could ever get to that point. So uh -huh. that would be a key thing. You know, you guys got up here. Uh, 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 Bob Marley does good business up. And only in this area. Yeah, though. very popular. He's there. popular only here. But I would love to have that across the country, you know, from town to town, from Boston all the way to Portland. So you can go from Boston to, to Chicago to Philadelphia to Detroit. And everywhere you go, you have like these 1,500 people in that town that come to see you, that like you, that you every other year or so you gain that the big kind of following. Sure. Yes, I would love that. That would be great. And that only comes if you have a TV show or something like that. So I would love to be on a TV show just to garner that following. That would be great. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, we actually have a mascot here in the Comedy Kitchen. Oh, you do? His name is Bobo Banana. Bobo Banana. He's a banana on the street. He's at a local restaurant doing food reviews. You want to check out where Bobo's at? Uh, Bobo's somewhere. He's probably having, probably having a great old time having some fruit and stuff today. Let's check out where Bobo's at. Scorecard. We uh, passed that yesterday. Here at we did on the way here. Bar and Grill on Lancaster Street in Lemister, Massachusetts. I'm here with Bobo Banana. <laughs> what are we be reviewing today, Bobo? We got a chicken finger platter. Let's take a look at that. All right. What's your review, Bobo? Uh oh. We got a good review on the chicken finger platter. Thumbs up. He got a good review. Good review. Because he got it. Free food always makes it taste sure, great. Well, let's hope we get the thumbs up on the curry chicken from you. Because I'm trying to impress you here. Okay. Next thing we need is we got some little cooking wine right here. Cooking so we're going to put a splash of cooking wine. Oh, boy. We could put a little bit more, but we yeah. don't want to because we got a show tonight. Am I right? Am oh, right? boy. I don't even drink, so how boring am I? There you go. Then sea salt, huh? Sea salt. We got sea a little salt, bit of salt. I use that, too. All right. You got your little teaspoon there you use for the garlic. A little teaspoon. No, a little one. A little one. That's a teaspoon. A little one. You little don't one. want too much here. Too much salt. We'll go. And this is the grain will look out. You don't yeah. even want too much A little salt. bit. Sprinkle a little bit in there. You don't even want that much. That's, 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 that's actually good. too right. much. That's right. Because we, we got our health to think about. That's it. it. That's it. When you have, it, it, we're going to have a diabetic show on here one day. <laughs> De Absolutely. Dennis, Dennis is going to teach us how to cook diabetically diabetic one day. Food. That would be that's a, a great. That's a new area. We're going to have that for the, for the comedy kitchen. It's going to be fabulous. Great episode. All right. Now your big spoon. We need two tablespoons of ketchup. We get your ketchup ketchup I there. love. Because I try to stay away from it, but I love the fries. So that's that. Let's see. We didn't we didn't clean this up here. We didn't. You know, we, there we go. See that? There we go. Now you've done some cooking before. I can tell. Bachelor cooking. Bachelor cooking. Back when in you're the a day. Bachelor, you do those things. Uno. And doso. Doso for our doso people. We love our 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 Hispanics. We want them to listen and watch too. Okay. So I know she was young when she did the show, but she went on to be a big star. What was it like working with Janet Jackson? Don't really know because she was a kid, and kids are not as strange as it sounds. They're not really allowed on the set because of the, the laws in L.A., 
and in, in California, they have uh, kids have like uh, uh, they have to have breaks, they have to have mental breaks, they have to have this, they have to have that. So they're only on the set maybe for 45 minutes a day. We get, we use little people to take their places. So you didn't see her a whole lot then. No, I didn't see her at all, and uh, don't really. I don't know her. I don't know anything. About, I know what everybody else knows. Okay. That's it. So I don't, I, you know. So you like the rest of us, right? It was yeah, I, I, I don't know. At that age, it was too much. All right. We need to open up our curry here. Curry. Not much curry. I don't like curry. Okay. So we put a little curry. A little in. bit of curry in there. That's all. That's <laughs> all right. Not, well, a big not a big guy. curry fan, are you? No, no, no. Well, we'll either. just get a hint of curry in here. A hint. Okay. That's it. That's all we need. We, we need some sinuses. We got uh, garlic for that. We don't we need the garlic. Any, we don't need. Any we don't need any of that other stuff. Do, 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 do. We're making it through here. We're getting there. Okay. You ready for my favorite part of the show? You're eating, I guess. Yeah. The eating part. He's ready. All He's right. He's eating a little bit there. Boy, oh boy. Got a plate here for you. Yeah, 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 and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There you go. That's all I need. All right. See, that's comics. That's what that's we eat. That's what we eat, we eat on the run, and then we have our cell Absolutely. phones in our hands, and we complain about everything. We complain. I get, hey, oh, there you go. Oh, see, huh? Look at that. You just went right at it. I'm cutting mine. All right. There we go. Little portion. Diabetic Little portion. portion that's right? it. I got to keep my girlish figure. All right. There you go. Now, there. Boy, oh, boy. That's delicious, babies. Would you say it's dynamite? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a uh, nitroglycerin. Oh wow, wow! That that'll spike you right up there, a little salt. All right. That was too much. You didn't want too much salt. Now you put more to, salt. No, no, no. I, I I took just a little bit. It looks like I put a lot, but I actually spilled oh, it on it. Oh, I see a little bit. I just took a but yeah. yeah. This is what you gotta do. Come to the Harmony Kitchen, get some chicken stuff with you and veggies, and we got some water and. We got to meet Dennis. Dennis is a leader. He's here every week. Check him out. Come to the Comedy Kitchen here in New England. <laughs> well, we're coming to the Food Channel soon. We're working on it. See that? You've done all the big shows, and now you can put the Comedy Kitchen right now in there. Right, right there, man. Forget the Emmys. Forget Screen Actors Guild <laughs> Awards. Forget. This is where it's at. Forget the Grammys. Forget all that. You want to be here. That's right. You, George Clooney. <laughs> You want to be on this show, baby. Come Paul on down. Shredome, who unfortunately just passed away. You want to be Bobby Flay. You come and do this show. This is, you're lucky to even watch us. Thank you very much. All right. Final question we got for you. There are a lot of young comics out here in the Boston area that watch this show, and they really want to travel the path you've already traveled No, in they don't. If you had some <laughs> advice for the young comics, what would it be? Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Try to be clean if you can. Uh, get on stage as much as you can, wherever you can, even if it's free. Just keep doing it. That's it. And then one day something will happen one way or the other, but just keep blasting away. Do what you love to do. That's great That's advice. It. Mr. Walker, I am a fan, and it has been the thrill of my life to have you Stop on. Thank it. you so much for coming on. It was more of a thrill if the Sox win the World Series, I that think. That would be even a bigger thrill. <laughs> I would have right up there with meeting you. All right. I want to thank the crew. I thank the studio audience. Most of all, I thank you at home. Until next time, eat well and laugh well, folks. Good night. Mm -hmm.